Hey everybody, welcome back to Stags Be Fixin'. Thank you for uh, stopping by my channel. So I had a question in the comments of one of my videos and somebody asked why do I put a screw into my brush? Uh, so I thought I'd go over a couple reasons why and show you guys actually an alternative to putting a screw in there and what I think works best. Uh, it's a quick little short video so stay tuned and I'll show you uh, what the screw on the brush is all about. All right, so the basic reason I keep a screw on my brush is because it hooks into the side of the bucket. And the reason for that is because it's, it's basically an easy way to keep your brush clean, keep your hands clean. Uh, a lot of the times your brush can kind of fall into the bucket. So the bristles are getting all full of paint up here where you don't need to be getting paint. You know, when I dip my brush, you really don't need to be dipping more than that um, into your bucket. You don't want paint all up here and here, even this, you know. So another reason is when you're painting productively, like you're doing an exterior, say, or even an interior, um, and you're going around, you're doing all the, the trim on the house, you're doing fascias, things like that. And, you know, usually you're going to run around with a setup, which is a mini roller. Some guys use other style rollers. I like these mini rollers. I think these are great for exterior trim, especially. And uh, so if I was going to put, you, know, you can't have your, I mean, some guys like to put their brush right here when they're painting with a setup like this. Um, so it's just kind of sitting on the, uh, the roller. I like to have mine behind. I think it's, you know, just works better for me. So if my, br if my brush was here, you know, I have to reach down, grab it. Sometimes it's kind of hard to get it out of there. Um, and putting a screw on it just makes it a little bit easier. So now, you know, let's say I'm up on a ladder. I can grab my brush. It's out of the way of my roller. I can brush what I need. I can get my roller out and roll what I need. Put that back in. Um, it's just an easy way to be a little bit more productive, keep my brush clean. All right, so an alternative to the screw in the brush, are these little brush clips. Um, you can find these at the paint store, Home Depot. You know, they sell them all over the place. They're probably like a dollar fifty or two bucks or something. Um, and they work, they have this little magnet right here in the middle of your brush. It's supposed to stick to the magnet and they work decently. Um, you know, I've used them before and I think they're okay. I like the screw a little bit better. And one of the reasons for that, number one, these things come off the magnet pretty quickly. And you know, I'm sure it's designed like that. So when you grab the brush, it breaks away quick. You don't want to grab it and it's pulling the bucket around if the magnet's too strong, right? So it's understandable. Uh, number two, you know, as you're painting throughout the day, this thing is gonna get paint on it and you know, the magnet's gonna work a little bit less. You have to clean it off and just becomes kind of a hassle. Um, so the brush falls off. So like if you're, you know, let's say you're setting your bucket down the ground and you know, you set it down a little too hard, then your brush is coming off and it's getting all gummed up, you know, inside here. And that's another reason I like to use it with the screw. You know, if your brush is in here and I'm rolling, rolling, getting the paint ready to roll on, all that paint is spraying all over here. It's going to get gummed up and, you know, your brush is just going to get kind of nasty. So look, I can get that off. This, this stays on pretty easy. There we go. Finally got it. So you go sideways and all that, it'll come off. But just a little tap, it's not going to fly off. One thing I will say about this style with the screw in it, is it can fall off that way. So that's the only negative that I see. Yeah, so that's basically it. Um, if I had a choice, I would definitely go with the screw. So you can see I just kind of put, you know, about a 45 or more angle, just to make sure it stays just like that. You put it 
too straight and the, and the brush is gonna fall off. So make sure you give it that angle if you're gonna use a screw. Um, like I said, these work fine. I think this is better. And uh, this is what I would rock with if uh, I was out in the field painting. I've used this for, you know, like 20 years and I've never had an issue with it ruining my brushes. I mean, these bristles are gonna burn out much quicker than uh, putting a screw through your brush would. Try them both, find out what works for you. Uh, you know, something that works for me might not work for everybody else. We're all different uh, human beings and we have to find the best process and tools that work for the way we think and the way our brains think. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope I uh, was able to explain brush clips, screw, kind of the same thing, little tool, easy screw. Um, hope you're able to get some uh, good info out of the video. I appreciate you watching. If you have any questions, hit me up in the comments and I might be able to make a little video for you answering your question. I'll see you next time on Stags Be Fixing.